I've heard a watched pot never boils, but this is ridiculous. Dear Tim and Moby, I have to do a project for a science fair. Help from freaking out. Science projects can seem really overwhelming at first, but they're totally manageable if you take them step by step. The first thing you have to do is find a topic, and there are a ton of resources to help you do that. But a better way to start might be to ask questions about the things around you. How can I bring that plant back to life? How clean is the water I'm drinking? Can magnets be used to levitate things? Why isn't my water boiling? Once you figure out the topic you're interested in, you have to narrow it down. My mom always puts salt in the pot when she boils water. Maybe that helps the water boil faster. You should try to turn your topic into a yes or no question, like will adding salt to the water make it boil faster? The purpose should be a clear statement about what you're trying to figure out. The purpose of this experiment is to find out whether adding salt to water will make it boil faster. Next, you have to come up with a hypothesis or your best guess about the answer to the question you wrote. Since my mom does it, I'm going to guess that it does help. Adding salt to water will make the water boil faster. Well, it should sound familiar. Science projects follow the scientific method. That's the procedure scientists use to find out why things happen the way they do. You should be able to test your hypothesis by changing just one variable in your experiment. In my case, my variable is the amount of salt in the water. Everything else, the heat, the size and shape of the pots, the amount of water, those should all be the same. <laughs> On your display, the list of materials you use usually comes next, and after that, the procedure section. The procedure clearly describes every step you take, even the most basic ones. Hmm. What? No way. Well, it doesn't really matter if your hypothesis is right. The point of doing a science project isn't to get the right answer. It's just to learn something new. And I sure did. When you finished your experiment, you're ready to write up your results. Often, those take the form of a chart or graph. After you've got some results, it's time to write your conclusions. The conclusion should make a statement about what you've learned. Now, we did not learn that my mom's a liar. We learned that adding salt does not make water boil faster. It actually makes it take longer. Yep, it's a good idea to spend some time on your display. Use a computer to type up your findings and make graphs and charts cut with a paper cutter so that your edges are straight. Use colors that make everything stand out and make sure to include some pictures. A nice-looking presentation helps everyone appreciate the results of your hard work. I need some salt. Maybe, maybe not quite that much salt.